Hello, welcome to lecture 4 features, pin details, reset, and oscillator circuit of 8051 microcontroller. 8051 features, these are the very important features of 8051. 4 kilobytes of ROM, it is a program memory. Whatever the application you are writing the code, that code has to be stored in this program memory. Operating frequency 0 to 24 MHz, 128 bytes of internal RAM, 32 programmable I/O pins. That is a one major advantage of 8051. In case of uh, Arduino, you having a less uh, input and output points, two 16-bit timer and counters, one programmable serial port, six interrupt sources. It has 8-bit data lines. That's why we can call this 8051 as an 8-bit microcontroller and 16-bit address line. Suppose if you want to uh, interface external memory, you can access the memory from uh, 0 to 2 power 16. 2 power 16 is nothing but 65,535. 0 to 65,535 address location we can able to access from this 8051 microcontroller. There are some series of uh, 8051 family 8052, 89S51, 89S52. In the series, there is some upgradation of this program memory from 4 kilobytes to 8 uh, kilobytes. And uh, RAM also they upgraded uh, 128, 128 bytes to 256 bytes. Other than that, it is common. And they add some add on features like ISP, uh, Institute uh, System Programmable. And one more feature they added, it is a watchdog timer. Here we focus only on, in this lecture series, we focus only on a 0 one microcontroller. As I already told, this is the diagram, that is the computer on a chip. This chip consists of CPU, it's nothing but a processor, RAM, ROM, IO port, timer, serial communication, port. In this lecture series, a few lectures I focused on how to programming this I/O pins the, and the how to programming this timer and the counter and how to programming this serial communication and six interrupt sources. I focus mainly on these three topics in the uh, subsequent lectures. This is very important is the pin details of 8051. Before we are writing the programming on 8051, you must know about the pin details of 8051. It consists of 40 pins. 28 pin is ground, 48 pin is VCC. The next very important is 18th and 19th pin. Here you can connect the crystal oscillator with the frequency, with the crystal oscillator frequency of 12 megahertz. From crystal oscillator frequency, we can feed the clock frequency to this microcontroller. The next one is very important RST pin. It is a reset pin. And this 29, 30th, and 31st pin we are not going to use in this lecture series because we are not going to be uh, interface external memory. Suppose we are going for external memory, in that we can use these three pins. And one more important thing in this uh, H051 it is a EA pin. EA pin usually you can connect to the VCC because why we are connecting always with the VCC. Because we are using uh, the internal program memory for fuse our application code. Suppose if we are using EA pin is equal to 0, the program has to be stored in the external memory. Uh, it consists of 4 ports, each port consists of 8 pins, so 4 into 8, totally 32 pins. First, you can look at this port 0 from port 0, 0.0 to port 0, 0.7. It simply it will act as a uh, simple input and output uh, operation as well as is doing some alternative function also. Like P2.0 to 2.7, it will act as a simple IO lens, it will act as a, some alternative function. Port 3.0 to 3.7, it will act as a simple input and output operation as well as some alternative function. But in port 1.0 to 1.7, it will simply act as a input and output lens. There is no alternate function. First you can look at this port 0. It is AD02, AD7. It is multiplexed. Address and data lines are multiplexed. How to uh, differentiate whether it is address or data. 
the signal is going to the external memory with the help of this ALU pin. ALU pin is equal to zero. So ALU, so, sorry, ALU pin is equal to one. Uh, it uh, A not to A seven. Suppose you are accessing the eight bit address. This uh, port zero is sufficient to access the address. Suppose you are using the sixteen bit address. So have to use this port also A eight to A fifteen. Suppose you are using the uh, external memory with the 16 bit address you can use a0 to a7 and a8 to a15 with a is equal to 1 suppose a equal to 0 we can access the data from the external memory that is d0 to d7 because it is a 8 bit controller the register whatever inside it is a 8 bit so it is going to be performed only the 8 bit operation so whatever the data store in the external memory it is 8 bit but the address we can from 8 bit address or 13 bit address or 16 bit address the maximum it is 16 bit address that is 2 power 16 so we can access uh, from uh, 0 to 65535 and come to this uh, port uh, 3 it is very important this 3.0 and 3.1 it is rx3 and tx3 Suppose if you want to uh, transmit any message from your microcontroller to your mobile phone with the help of some GSM module, you can transmit through this 3.1. Suppose if you want to transmit from your mobile phone to 8051 with the help of GSM, you can receive with the help of 3.0. And P3.2, 3.3 for uh, external hardware interrupt. Okay, in the subsequent lecture, I will explain you what is the importance of this two pin. As, as well as this T0 and T1, it is for timer and counter operations. Uh, this 3.6 and 3.7 we are not going to be used in this lecture series because we are not going to be interfacing any external memory. Way. That's why we are not going to be use this 3.6 and 3.7. Suppose if you want to write the data into the external memory or read the data from the external memory, at the time we can use this RD and WR. Just summarize the 8051 pin diagram. Port 0, it is 0 0.0 to 0 0.7. It is a 8 pin. Each pin consists of it is an 8 bit. It is a 8 pins, each pin having 8 bits. It occurs a general purpose IO or act as a multiplus low byte address as well as data bus for external memory design port 1 it is 1.0 to 1.7 it only a general purpose IO port 2 for P2.0 to 2.7 it is general purpose IO as well as it is a high byte of the address bus for external memory design when we are going to be use this uh, function this function when ALE is equal to 1 or 0 okay as well as we can enable EA pin EA pin that is this, this EA pin is equal to make it to ground then only you can what is that access the external memory with the help of this port 0 and the port 2 if EA is equal to 1 we can use only the internal memory next to port 3 this 3.0 to 3.7 it acts as a general purpose IO that is simple input and output operation you can connect any input devices like sensor or uh, uh, the switches whatever it may be or could you can connect LED and CD others uh, DC motor servo motor and so on suppose if not using any of the internal peripherals like timers counters uh, serial communication external interrupts then you can use this port 3 as IO port suppose you are using the interrupts timers and serial communication you can't use this as an input and output port each port can be used as an input or output that's why it is a bidirectional. It is the very important uh, uh, slide of this lecture 4. I summarized everything in this diagram for better understanding. Uh, just I connect uh, before uh, you are writing uh, what is that uh, fuse the program into this microcontroller. What are the basic steps you have to do? First you can make this 20th pin ground, 40th pin VCC and EA pin you make it to high because we are using the program memory inside this microcontroller 
and very very important this is the crystal oscillator without this crystal oscillator this controller won't work okay is the feeding the crystal oscillator frequency of 12 hertz uh, 24 megahertz also you can apply 0 to 24 megahertz this controller is going to be operate but usually in this lecture we are using 12 megahertz with 2 30 picofarad capacitor okay this is a clock oscillator circuit and next come to this reset pin the reset pin if you want you can use this external circuit or else you make this RST pin is high if it is RST pin is high it will not accept the reset okay wherever program will start okay from that only the program is going to be or is that continue it will not continue from the beginning suppose you are using this external reset circuit if you are giving the reset to this ninth pin the programmer wherever it stop is no problem again it will start from the beginning okay just you can look at this circuit i hope you all understand this uh, simple circuit uh, 5 volt uh, uh, battery one switch capacitor and the resistor when the switch is closed the capacitor is going to be charged until this capacitor is charged there is the voltage across this uh, resistance because i am connecting this uh, circuit uh, in the series okay is whatever the voltage i am applying there's the voltage drop across this capacitor as well as this resistor until the capacitor is going to be charged okay there is a voltage drop across this resistance that voltage is appear across this ninth pin okay a minimum 3 microsecond uh, you have to be give a high pulse to this RST pin then only what is that reset, reset is going to be invoked uh, your, pro, your, your uh, pro, what is that uh, controller is going to be reset reset is nothing but your program is start from the beginning whatever the register inside the uh, microcontroller everything is reset to zero okay it will start from the beginning okay once this capacitor is uh, uh, charged fully it acts as a open circuit so this uh, register is connecting to this ground and the ground is connecting with this line okay the RST pin it will active only for 3 microsecond according to that you can uh, design this uh, or is that choose this capacitance and the resistance and come to this this is very important uh, uh, one in this lecture uh, I designed this circuit with the help of OTS tool I connected everything I just start the uh, simulation button I didn't uh, program anything on this controller just I connected this uh, clock circuit and the reset circuit this powering of this supply this is not I connected to this uh, microcontroller. controller just simply run this one you can see the high signal in the port 2 port 3 and port 1 but not in port 0 the reason is why with the help of this diagram I am going to be explained okay is very very important you see with the help of the red color I draw the line over here so the this 5 volt you know you are powering up here this 5 volt is going to you are not going to be separately powering up this resistor and all you take the power from this 5 volt and the resistor the MOSFET this everything is what is that inside the microcontroller of which pin 17 pin you just use a 17 pin the same configuration for this 8 pins this 8 pin as well as this 8 pin this 24 pin consists of this configuration inside the microcontroller but in case of this port 0 we are having only this uh, MOSFET with this crown okay I, that's why I mark this red color line like this okay apart from that it is an external okay I choose an 36th pin 36th pin is what is that P 0.3 okay the, all the 7 pin having the each pin having this configuration only just you can look at this uh, diagram for example you are always getting 1 in the output of port 3 port 2 port 1 suppose if you are connecting any LED over here the LED is going to be blinked without programming your microcontroller so you have to be programming it what is that according to the output of the pin voltage okay so
suppose if you want to uh, make it turn off the LED, you can, what is that, give 0 to the uh, P3.0, suppose you are connecting LED over here, you can give 0 to this P3.0, then only the LED is going to be off. Okay, first, uh, through programming, you are supplying the 1. 1 means it is going to be on, okay, on, so it is going to be, what is that, the closed circuit. So, output 17 is connecting to what is the ground. So, 0 is connecting to the ground. Suppose if it is connecting, uh, suppose you are feeding the input, it is 0, this is going to be off. So, output 17 is connecting to the high. Okay. It will act as a sink as well as a source. Okay. Why it is sink and source? Because this 2 is inside the microcontroller. That's why this controller act as a source as well as sink okay in 2.4 uh, to 4.3 and 4.1 but in case of here you look at uh, very carefully we having only a fit with the ground the externally we connected the R3 suppose the if you are giving the 0 0 means it is going to be off off means what is that it is a open drive Okay, here this is externally I connected, okay, not inside the microcontroller. It is a open drain, so it is high impedance state, okay. It is not uh, the 0 or not 1. So that I want to do, I have to be connect external pull up register with a battery 5 volt. I want is that pulling the output to 5 volt, okay. 5 volt in the sense high, high means it is 1. Suppose I am giving 1 to this pin. This is going to be on, so output is 36 pin is what is that uh, pulling down to what is that ground. So what it means that if this port 0 it act only as a sink, okay, it will not act as a source. Source I am giving from uh, outside sink or is it from the inside the microcontroller. But in case of port 2, port 3 and port 1 it will act as a uh, sink as well as it acts as a source because this configuration is inside the microcontroller okay this is act as a source as well as sink but in this case it will act as a sink not as a source thank you